Are you curious to know how the new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light compares to the original Magic Cream? Well, you're in the right place to find out and you know I'm going to be talking about the ingredients. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the skincare stylist. A very warm welcome from me and my bad hair day. I have just completely given up. We are rocking the uh, headband and ponytail look. So I posted a video a few weeks ago on the new Charlotte Tilbury skincare products. There's three of them, reviewed them all, and afterwards one of my girlfriends texted me and she said, you know, I just watched the video, why didn't you compare the Magic Cream Light to the original Magic Cream? And I thought, oops. <laughs> I have to say, I was in just such a weird frame of mind at the time because I was working on launching a Facebook group for the skincare stylist. It's a woman's only group to talk about ingredients and skincare products, honest, just reviews, recommendations. And I finally just launched it last night. So here I am today and I am making up for that big error on my part and we are going to talk about these two products. Before we get into the formulas, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. Now the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the original one, comes in this beautiful jar. It is quite luxurious looking. This is 1.7 ounces of formula and it costs 100 US dollars. I like the fact that as I'm using this product, I know how much I have left. The downside is if you get lazy like me and you're not supposed to do this, but I do it, and I shouldn't, but I just tend to start using my finger to scoop up the product. You shouldn't do that because there can be bacteria on your finger. You put it into the magic cream and you're left with a magic Petri dish. So you should technically use a spatula. And one did not come with this product, just keep that in mind. Now when I look at the Magic Cream Light, once again, beautiful, beautiful packaging, and there's a pump, so that's great. I won't have to worry about my bacteria getting into the formula. On the flip side, because this is all white and it's not see-through, I have no idea how much I have left unless I have to do the tapping method to figure it out. But that can be a little bit annoying when you run out of it and then all of a sudden you think, I don't have a backup. I do just wanna let you know, I got these through PR. I know Charlotte's PR very well. That does not sway this review at all. Trust me, they know I'm always honest and I'm gonna be real with you. Now let's talk about the different formulas and I am going to demonstrate them for you as I am going through the ingredients. We'll first take a look at the original Magic Cream. Here it is. And this is truly a cream. It is thick. That's because it is packed with some real heavy moisturizers like shea butter. Shea butter is an inclusive and it's going to essentially sit on top of the skin. It will sink into the skin a bit, but it's going to prevent trans epidermal water loss. That means the moisture within your skin is going to stay in there. That's great for me. I am 37 years old with very, very dry skin that's prone to fine lines and wrinkles. There is also tocopherol. Tocopherol is an emollient. It's an antioxidant, it's vitamin E, and it's going to help to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles you may have. I have them under my eyes, unfortunately, so I use as much vitamin E as I possibly can. It's one of my favorite ingredients. There are humectants, and humectants are going to grab onto water, hold it into the skin, and they're going to pump, plump up temporarily, but still, you know, we'll take what we can get, plump up those fine lines and wrinkles. This formula is pretty strong smelling. It's very, very floral. And that's because there are a lot of flower extracts. Now you might think to yourself, okay, well, I use fragrance in my skincare. Number one, you're really not supposed to, and it's hard to avoid. Trust me, I have the same issue and I do have some products with fragrance, but more often than not, I always try to avoid it because it can be sensitizing to your skin. There are also peptides in this formula. When you put a peptide, product of peptides on your skin, 
sends a little message to your brain that there's some sort of injury at that site. So your brain sends a little message back and it has the fibroblasts start to develop more collagen. You get a nice boost in collagen and more collagen means you're going to have firmer skin. I do want to point out that there is rosehip oil in this formula. That is a weak vitamin A, a retinol. So because of that, I really don't like to use this during the day. All right, so that is the magic cream. I do want to say it's expensive. $100 is a lot of money, or at least it's a lot of money to me. Maybe it's not to you, which, hey, good for you. For me, it's a lot. So yes, you can find these ingredients in cheaper products. However, when you buy the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, you are buying the Charlotte Tilbury Experience. And trust me, there is a Charlotte Tilbury Experience. I've met her twice. I went to her big party here in Dubai. And dad, if you're watching this right now, just click it off. I know you are, you watch all my videos. Dad, just pause or just delete, whatever. When you're around Charlotte Tilbury and you're, there's rose gold everywhere, there's maroon everywhere, and you start to become very aware of your own body, your sensuality, and I went to her party and next thing I knew, I had a glass of champagne in my hand and I was in a bathtub full of feathers. And then I got out of the bathtub with feathers and I went to a bed full of pink pillows and they were silky satin pillows. So <laughs> these things happen and you just can't help but feel incredibly sexy. Even when you're in one of her stores and she has all the old Hollywood theming and I mean, look at this bottle think of all the other skincare products on the market and then in their packaging and look at this packaging i mean you're you're paying for that experience now let's take a look at the charlotte's magic cream light and it says right here on the bottle this is a lightweight miracle moisturizer once again beautiful packaging i do want to let you know this is full transparency i am always honest i sat in on a zoom webinar with charlotte and she went over this product and she did describe the bottle as being a jewel on your nightstand which to me was a very charlotte tilbury way of saying it and I love it. So the formula itself, as you can imagine, is a lot lighter and it does still contain a lot of wonderful emollients and fatty alcohols and humectants. There is coconut alkanes in this formula. I love coconut alkanes because of my dry skin. Keep in mind, they are comedogenic. So if you are prone to blackheads or blemishes, you may wanna stay away from this product. Now, if you're wondering about the fragrance, yes, there is fragrance in this formula and the formula smells exactly like the original Magic Cream. Although there are a fewer, there are fewer fragrances, it seemed, in this particular one. It's still there. However, there is no rosehip oil, which is great because then I can use this during the day and not feel ugh, bad about it. There is tons of peptides in this formula. And like I said before, I'm loving the peptides. I'm gonna keep using them. They are a part of my anti-aging skincare routine. So if you can't guess, it is my favorite one. I am using the Magic Cream right now on my skin and I think it's doing a great job moisturizing my skin and just keeping that under eye area looking nice and fresh. I really do like this moisturizer. If I could change anything, I would say just get rid of the scent, keep everything else, get rid of those fragrance ingredients. But the formula for me is working wonderfully. So this is going to be integrated into my morning skincare routine. And if you're wondering what that morning skincare routine is, check it out right here. You can see all the products I like to use and the orders I use them in. So don't say goodbye. Keep hanging out with me and I'll see you over there.